When we take a look at financial markets, where trillions of dollars are circulated each year, we can see supply and demand at work. When people save their money, that becomes the supply side of the equation. When people borrow money, then that is the demand side. How much is saved and borrowed is the quantity of financial capital. And the price of saving and borrowing is determined by the interest rate or the rate of return. In this market, for credit card borrowing, the demand curve D for borrowing financial capital intersects the supply curve S for lending financial capital at equilibrium E. At the equilibrium, the interest rate, the price in this market, is 15% and the quantity of financial capital being loaned and borrowed is $600 billion. The equilibrium price is where the quantity demanded and the quantity supplied are equal. At an above equilibrium interest rate, like 21%, the quantity of financial capital supplied would increase to $750 billion, but the quantity demanded would decrease to $480 billion. At a below equilibrium interest rate, like 13%, the quantity of financial capital demanded would increase to $700 billion, but the quantity of financial capital supplied would decrease to $510 billion. Should I save my money or should I spend my money? This question is asked by individuals and firms alike. This type of intertemporal decision making or decision across time can be impacted by expectations that are tempered by world events or personal taste. Perceived risk is also a factor on whether money is saved or spent, borrowed or lent. These forces shift either supply or demand and impact the equilibrium interest rate and equilibrium quantity of financial capital. This graph shows the demand for financial capital and supply for financial capital into the U.S. financial markets by the foreign sector before and after the increase of uncertainty regarding U.S. public debt. The original equilibrium, EO, occurs at an equilibrium rate of return at RO and the equilibrium quantity is QO. In this case, the uncertainty in the market savings or supply decreases supply and has an impact on the equilibrium rate and quantity. Usury laws that limit or restrict the borrowing of money and the interest rate charged for lending and borrowing money. The original intersection of demand D and supply S occurs at equilibrium EO. However, a price ceiling is set at the interest rate RC below the equilibrium interest rate RO, and so the interest rate cannot adjust upward to the equilibrium. At the price ceiling, the quantity demanded, QD, exceeds the quantity supplied. There is an excess demand, also called a shortage.